mecca of basketball here, Madison Square Garden. One of the kids upstairs asked me, he said, bro, is this like the best place to play in? I said, yes, it is. The mecca. Any place I played professional basketball, any place that I played at, it's not like Madison Square Garden. Hello and welcome. I'm Damon Bruce here with you as we get ready for a little NBA action on 2K Sports. Monday night in the NBA, it'll be the Toronto Raptors facing off against the New York Knicks. And that'll do it until we catch up again for the HP Halftime Report. Now, out to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K crew. It's an All-Eastern Conference matchup in today's game as the Raptors come into town for this one. We wish you a very happy holiday from our 2K Sports crew and thank you for joining us for this most special broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Steve Kerr and Clark Kellogg. Take a look at the Knicks. Well, it's a part of their schedule that sees them with a lot of road games, so each game, guys, so important to stay focused and take the crowd out of it. Well, this team has not played with a lot of confidence recently, but winning is a panacea in many ways, Kevin. It cures everything, and we'll see if they can get it going from here. Well, and if they're going to get it going, I mean, they have to have some major changes, uh, possibly a uh, starting lineup change, uh, maybe something in the rotation. They need a shake-up because what they've been doing has not worked. Let's crack again there, YouTube. Your good friend, Jasper, coming at you. Live with NBA 2K12 once again, as promised. Here we are, rolling along with my Raptors Association. Game 31 here, first game of the new year. Happy New Year! Or if you're frosty, the snowman. Happy birthday! <laughs> Anyways, old school reference for you. What's happening? What's good uh, there, YouTube? Uh, so, what's been going on here with my Association? As you can see, there has been a rather a drastic change to the old lineup. Um, what was going on there? Like, uh, second month, you know, I, I kind of broke even there in the first month, and then uh, second month, I hit the skids big time. Uh, I ended up losing, like, five games in a row, and uh, what, out of that, Miami absolutely blew me right out of my own gym, and uh, what, I, I struggled to beat uh, the Bucks. And then I lost a couple of close ones, and I just said, screw it, man. Uh, you know, I'm not going to suffer with this team anymore. I'm, not, I'm just not going to do it. I'm not going to take it no more. <laughs> now, what, uh, what, I, what I, I just came to the realization, though, that, uh, you know, the stock Raptors team, even with a couple of trades I made for Joe Johnson there, was uh, just not talented enough, really, to, to continue on, man. So... Uh, I made a couple of switch Roonies and then I also uh, kind of trolled the game a bit because I ended up with uh, first four first round picks for this year. So I've got some pretty major changes uh, coming coming the end of the season. And we'll see if Joe Johnson sticks around. I'll tell you though, guy is a ton of fun to play with. Uh, yeah, by far. So this is uh, me at the Knicks. This would be, by the way, if I can uh, end up winning this game, this would make 11 wins in a row for me. Uh, to give me an idea, yeah, I went on a nice little uh, tear of late. To, you know, uh, what? I ended up making these changes, and I ended up on a West Coast was like a five-game West Coast swing, uh, or six games West Coast swing. I think it was you no, know, it was a six-game West Coast swing. I ended up starting uh, in uh, the Staples Center playing the Clippers, um, and uh, no, not the Clippers. Uh, what am I talking about? Uh, was it there? Lob City there. Uh, uh, <laughs> as I struggle for the for the name there, Gold State. Uh, and ended up uh, handily beating Gold State. I don't know what was going on there with them. They were on a bit of a losing skid is what the commentating was going on. So just going to whip through some uh, highlights here. And really want to show you the fourth quarter because this is a killer, killer game I end up having here. Uh, really, ex you know, really excited to show it and share it, you know, show it to you and share it with you. This is a, you know, definitely did have uh, a lot of fun playing this game, and it's a bit of a nail biter. And you'll see, and you'll see here, uh, 
I end up jumping out to a bit of a lead here, and uh, we'll see what happens after that, man. So what else has been going on? Uh, well, we just had the Super Duper Bowl, had the old Super Duper Bowl party here at my house with, uh, with the gang. But there was a ton of us huddled around, and, you know, my boy Jay all, woohoo! At the end of it, he's awful happy, and, uh, you know, uh, fingers crossed he's, uh, he's a bit of a procrastinator there, so I haven't had to wear the stupid hat for the, you know, most of the month of February here so far. <laughs> As uh, per our uh, Giants and uh, Niners game bet there. But, yeah, good on the, good on the Giants. Yeah, that's uh, that's a that's a couple of Super Bowls now. I've seen them win what three now, so you know that's uh, definitely one of the uh, you know storied franchises in the NFL now. Definitely, and, you know uh, whatever about all this talk about is Eli elite. <laughs> it's so silly, man. But you know whatever. It, oh, he's going to the Hall of Fame. He's like, dude, he's going to the Hall of Fame. And he's, the guy's only played a few years in the league. You know, can we let him play a little bit first? <laughs> You know, whatever, but, you know, they got to talk about what they got to talk about, you know what I mean? But I guess the good thing for our folks, uh, you know, stateside is that it uh, looks like a little bit of the monopoly is finally going to get broken up there. Uh, it'll be no more just uh, ESPN. It'll be, you know, there's going to be, uh, well, CBS Sports' channel had the big splash there, signing Jim Romy. So, you know, we'll see how that works out. And NBC's got its thing, and it's actually partnered up pretty well, too. And, you know, as my videos, I showed you the opening possessions and then uh, the last minute of, uh, you know, the, the first quarter, the second quarter. Let's go to the half here. And hello and welcome to this edition of HP at the Half. Let's get you caught up with the latest here in the NBA's midseason action. At the midway point, the Knicks are grinding this one out. Their second unit making its impact felt offensively. They've come in ready to roll. Some nice play so far from Carmelo Anthony. He's got 11 points and has been contributing on the boards too. Looking at Toronto, they're definitely making plays as well. They continue to dice up teams with passing fluid play. It's beautiful team basketball. A tremendous first half for Joe Johnson. He has 17 points and has contributed with the assists as well. No doubt the focus so far, these two players have led the charge in scoring for their teams. Plenty of offense for both in the first half. And now, other NBA Mellow being mellow and being a pain in the ass. Uh, it's really here in the second half. Uh, he really becomes a pain in the ass because what they end up doing is they start switching him out with Amare and putting uh, Mellow down in the uh, four spot. And it creates, man, all kinds of nightmare matchups for me because... Uh, you know, I've got Bargnani starting out in the four spot, and then he'll kind of swing back and forth. Well, uh, be because I'm playing on PC, and, it, and you know, it is all modified. I've got modified rosters with everybody's hot zones all modified up to, and um, play styles and everything else all done. Uh, Bargnani does the float around the three-point line thing. Every once in a while, he'll dive down into the uh, into the key area, which is awfully handy because you know that's really his. Forte, as they say. <laughs> so, showing you off here the, the last uh, minute of, thir of the third quarter, as I was talking about, and uh, really going to show you quite a bit of the fourth quarter here, because, man, this turns out to be a battle royale here. You know, one for the ages. With uh, ye old Knicks, and, and they were on a bit of a skid there. You heard the commentators talking at the beginning of the game when I, when I showed the whole opening uh, segment there. They were actually talking about the Knicks, not me, because like I said, if I can end up pulling off uh, this game, this is going to be 11 wins in a row for me. Because I'm on, I'm the team in the NBA right now. And there's an example of what Melo's been able to do. <laughs> uh, and yeah, having a lot of fun. You know, it's been really challenging. I, you know, uh, I've won 10 games in a row. Yeah, you know, I, I have stomped on a couple of teams, but out of those uh, 10 games, I've also played a lot of lesser teams. Like I've played the Cavs. Uh, the Bucks, and, uh, what uh, the Spurs game was awful tough, man. Because uh, which we call it there, Tim Duncan came out in the first half, uh, played cold as you know, cold, 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 and then uh, he heated up in the second half. Man, he's a son of a bitch to try to stop. Because you know, if he's going for the key with uh, the way this is all modified up, with the, the settings and sliders and everything else, man, <laughs> you know, he goes to the hoop. Uh, you're either fouling him or you're just getting out of his way. So. You know, that's pretty nice. And, you know, the blocks are a little bit down on this, too. And, you know, hopefully you can, you can tell by the gameplay, you know, the the arenas are all modified. I mean, it's a modified, uh, what do you call it there, uh, uh, 
uh, jerseys, and I, you know, I got some better face packs in there. Uh, you also see some of the face packs for what do you call it there? The uh, yeah, Mellow ends up getting that. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, you know, when they, when they actually show the faces, sometimes it's awfully funny because uh, the heads are a little bit bigger. <laughs> so all of a sudden, you have this big, giant, massive head. Eh, the things us gaming geeks laugh at. Anyways, what else is going on there? So NFL, at least for now, is done, man. I am a big football fanatic, uh, but I'm also a big fantasy football player. So, you know, I try to follow as much of the offseason as possible. Well, and, you know, I've got my, you know, I'm kind of lucky with the, the group of friends I roll with because, you know, I'm a Niners fan. You know, uh, my best friend, you know, one of my best friends, he's, uh, he's a Bears fan. And another one of my good friends, he's a, you know, he's a Chefs fan. You know, J-Man, he's a, pardon me, he's a Giants fan. You know, plus we live in Bill's territory. Ooh, nice deal by me. And alley -oop. <laughs> And what else? Oh, you can tell I'm also using the uh, little TNT modifier here. It gives a nice little, you know, actually makes it look like a broadcast. It's kind of, kind of sweet, man. You know, the advantage is to playing on PC, folks. Once again. So what else be going on? Uh, playing, playing the bag, of course, off of Battlefield 3. Having a blast playing that. Uh, Last couple of nights, I don't know. It's been uh, it's like I've been stuck on the Nubbin teams for some reason. You know, uh, we got like a team of like you know almost half snipers all laying them. You know, and of course doing the dumb sniper thing. You know, I played with good snipers and and also played against teams that had good snipers. And man, it's a son, some bitch. <laughs> it's when the snipers are laying down the suppressing fire like they're supposed to for you know your ground troops as they're advancing and uh, knocking out the so flams out there. You know and uh, in spots like you know that are handy and are fortuitous to your team as you know as you're either trying to advance or you're trying to hold on to you know and defend the conquest points and that's the other big thing is I'm a big conquest player uh, though I have played some rush and I got to say I have enjoyed it a lot more than when I played it on uh, uh, Bad Company 2 there but mind you I played Bad Company 2 on Xbox and uh, that was a good game and a bad game, but really, the thing that really bothered me about uh, Bad Company 2 on Xbox was uh, getting stuck on uh, terrain. Like, that's, like, old school, man. Like, that's going back to, you know, uh, well, just because I'm a bit older, I've been around for gaming, you know, we're going back to, like, original Ghost Recon days and, and shit like that, so. And we're winding down here. As you can see, next we're able to squirt out a bit of a lead there. They're, uh... Their, what do you call it? Their, their bench players were able to come in against my bench players. Plus, they were mixing, them, uh, like I said, they kept mixing mellow in there. Man, what a, what a grrr. Check this out. I mean, they do the dumb thing, hold on the ball, shoot the forever three. But I'm like, wee, okay, we're going to get this. I'm going to be able to pull this off. The game wants me to win. <laughs> or does it? Well, we'll see here, because I got Joe Johnson coming up, man. Like I said, he's a lot of fun. Uh, who was it? What the? I forget who it was. Maybe it's the team I traded to uh, Kurt Heinrich to or something like that. He was playing against somebody who was slow, and man, he scored. Like, I, had, I was able to whip off 45 of them, because whoever was able to get them, and yeah, I ended up missing that, which sucks. Uh, anyways, Joe Johnson was able to whip off 45, and I'd say 20 points was just me, you know, getting to the top of the key, doing that little back forth, you know, the little fake, fake left, fake right, fake left, and go right, and the guard just was not fast enough to, to, to guard me, and then there was nobody there, so, you know, either a nice little easy, you know, uncontested layup or dunk, or, you know, somebody come over and try to do it and be, uh, you know, layup or dunk and one, so... Thank you very much. So I'm going to have a, a tough decision to make with him come, uh, you know, come trade deadline. I really don't know that I'm going to tr change anything come the trade deadline. I think I'm pretty much set on the team, Raptor team I'm going to roll with for this year. And, uh, you know, we'll have to see come the offseason because uh, the one goofy thing is, uh, you know, I've skipped ahead once uh, during that whole losing streak. I was, was going to skip ahead and no! Uh, Joe Johnson missed! What?! What? Oh. Oh. Next win. I don't know what it is with me posting all these videos of me losing. What am I? Glutton for punishment? Nah, like I said, I, I was coming off a 10 game uh, winning, uh, you know, little winning streak there. 
No, I'll take the one loss. I actually uh, ended up uh, recording the, uh, what do you call it there, the Spurs game, which is the game before this, uh, for me uh, going 10 in a row in that game. Basically went down like th th this one, but I was able to pull it out in the last couple minutes and uh, ended up making a dumb mistake and fouling, fouling, and I ended up by, you know, I ended up winning by exaggerated eight points. When really I should have probably won that by two. As we check out the highlights here for our pog, which is of course uh, mellow. And <laughs> check out these stats at the end here. <laughs> so don't know when I'm gonna hit you up here, here with uh, next maybe another NBA 2K because uh, you know my BF3 video got uh, so much love. <laughs> 29 points and yeah, it is mellow. No assists. <laughs> Anyways, you're good for a Thanks for watching YouTube. We'll check you later. Don't know what I'll hit you with next.